are Botox injections in the face against wrinkles bad for the brain? Have you seen any evidence that they can trigger dementia later? So good question. I've not exactly had this question before. So that's a first that I usually get, you know, I haven't heard that before. I think it's a good question because Botox or botulinum toxin is a toxin that paralyzes muscle. It paralyzes muscle because when you get it in the, when you, as a disease, it can, ki- it can kill you. It can make you stop breathing and make you, you're called paralysis when your muscles stop moving. When you inject Botox, botulinum toxin, into a muscle, for example, in, in the forehead, and this can be used for migraine headaches, it can be used for muscles in the forehead that kind of like stop moving, so the wrinkles. I am not aware of any evidence, literature, scientific, whatever, that paralyzing muscles in the small, tiny quantities that you have to inject in a very specific area, I'm not aware that that is negative for Alzheimer's or dementia risk. I'm not aware that it's a risk factor for vascular cognitive decline or anything else. I've never seen any data there. So while it is injected into the head and it's a toxin, it does, in my understanding, for two to three months, stay in the muscle itself uh, and then it disappears. 